In this video we're going to look at some of the common major chords used in bluegrass banjo playing. In this video I'll just look at how to play the chords. I'll leave the explanation of what a chord is until a later video. Let's start with the G chord that we looked at in lesson 20, basic backup. You can see the chord diagram at the top left of the tablature. To practice, make the chord up carefully and slowly. Then just strum it to make sure there are no dud notes or strange sounds. Then play a few rolls over it. I've used the forward backward roll as an example in the tab. Then take the chord off and make it up again slowly. Don't just make the chord and hang on to it forever. You need to practice making the chord, then taking it off, then making it, or making a different chord. It's the process of making the chord, then changing it, that's important. There's not much to be gained by just making the chord and holding on to it until your fingers hurt. If we slide this chord shape down the neck by two frets, we get an F chord. Practice making the F chord slowly, strum it and do a few rolls. Note that I'm avoiding the high G string in these rolls, as I don't really want that note here at the moment. Try sliding it up to a G chord and do a few rolls. Slide it back down to an F again. Get used to the sound. The songs Little Maggie and Old Joe Clark use this chord progression in part of the tune. If we slide this chord shape up the neck by two frets, we get an A chord. Again, I'm avoiding the high G string because it gives the chord a different flavour that I don't want right now. The easiest of all chords, of course, is the open G that the banjo is tuned to. We've had a fair bit of practice at that, so we'll move on to the bar A chord, which is just like sliding the open G chord up two frets. This is another way to play an A chord. It has the same notes, but in a different order. Move this bar up a further two frets and we have a B chord. Up another fret and we have a C chord. And another two frets and we have a high D chord. The trickiest of the chord shapes to play is undoubtedly the full D chord, and usually requires a lot of practice before most people can make it quickly and cleanly. When you're first learning it, you can get by with just three fingers, the index, middle and pinky, and leave the open D unfretted, because it belongs in a D chord anyway. Again remember to practice making the chord, then taking it off, then making it again. If you have to take your time to do it, that's okay. A little bit of time that it takes will shorten with practice and soon you'll find you can do it pretty quickly.
Difficult though it may be, you'll eventually have to learn to make a full D-shaped chord as we use it all the time in bluegrass banjo playing. Move this chord shape up two frets and we get an E chord. And here's an easier way to play an E chord. OK, that's the whole alphabet from A through to G. Now you know how to play your major chords. For more great beginner banjo lessons, go to markwardle.net slash beginnerbanjo.